it makes it more streamlined in the end, mm -hmm. which saves time, which is nice. Same as money! <laughs> that too. And speaking of money, these types of projects are an investment. They'll cost more than your F most average cosplays. Um, Umbreon Fur and All was, you know, pretty expen well, expensive, about a hundred, but we don't really need to go into the price <laughs> right now. Um, you'll want to consider the quality of your tools. Because if your tools keep breaking, you'll have to buy them more, and if you buy like a bad pair of scissors, you'll get nice blisters across your thumb right there, and no one likes those, they're, they're painful. Yeah, exactly. So, um, you have to understand the tools of the trade. You need to know their proper use, and you need to know how to safely store them. No, you don't need to use the proper use so you can abuse them, Yes. Um. <laughs> You want to safely store them because you don't want to have the exacto knife roll off and impale your foot. That's <laughs> you don't want to explain that to the emergency that's, room. That's happened to me too many times. Case in point: don't be like Scaros. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you need to make sure that you put everything in its proper place, including while you're working on it. I cannot tell you how many times cutting scissors, put them down. Okay, doing things. Where did I put the scissors, you guys? Five minutes later, she realizes it's like three feet to the left. <laughs> this is left. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, well, I just wasted five minutes of my time. And it's very frustrating. It is very frustrating when you do it for the 700th time in a row, mm -hmm. mentally making the connection, okay, I need to keep track of where all my stuff goes. It helps productivity, I don't know, tenfold. I'll just put up a random number, but yes. it is totally suggested fully suggest you give it a try. You'll also want a good workspace. Um, you'll want proper lighting because the, um, the shading will change under different lighting so you want to know that it's the right color. Um, you'll want a well-ventilated area because sometimes be working with um, highly noxious fumes and being in a very confined area with noxious fumes will probably not be fun. You might even pass out. In the long term, yes. you can have brain damage. So we that don't want to play with hazardous chemicals that not be able to breathe. <laughs> You want to keep it clean because you don't want what you're working on to get covered in grime because you have to spend time cleaning it. You know, kind of common sense stuff. You want a first aid kit at the workstation. I stress at because you will probably cut yourself uh, or you. burn yourself. I got a lovely scar. Right I got a lovely exacto knife scar here. I got exacto knife peel over here. <laughs> yes. Case in at point. the workstation. <laughs> Again, organization and uncluttered-ness definitely goes along with the where did I put the scissors, oh I forgot to plug in the hot glue gun, knowing where everything goes, and putting it back at the end of the day. I've done that, left the hot glue on. Like, why isn't it working? I've left the hot glue gun on for about three days straight without realizing it, probably more. It's just a good idea to keep, you know, good care of your tools and the building this precious, precious costume on. You want to make sure you want to have a lot of ventilation and wear a mask. Because mm -hmm. I, yeah, I we'll probably get to that, that. absolutely. Yeah. But that's uh, a very good point. Yes. Alrighty. Your materials. Foam! There's lots of foam. Fun foam. And, you know, all of this. <laughs> so. Uh, want to get take this? Yes. Yeah. Alrighty. So, yes, there's lots of different kind of foam, as you see. Um, These two kinds are called open cell foam. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you kind of see, at least for this one, why it would be called that. It's, a, it's called reticulated This foam. is reticulated. This is upholstery or, you know, standard polyurethane. When people are talking about polyurethane, they probably mean this. It goes in your couch cushion. No, don't use the couch cushion, because that's been there for years, and you don't know what's been in there for years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can, oh, can deteriorate over time. And it can deteriorate over time, too. And yeah, it can yeah, get yeah. moldy, it gets moisture. So it's best to just buy a brand new piece of foam, so it prolongs the uh, lasting of your costume. Then there's closed cell foam, which meaning that there's no open holes. Uh, the foamies, or craft foam, it's completely closed cell, it's floppy, it's good for like a finishing to, as you can see on the head right there, it smooths it out. This is PVC that's been air, um, has air, inje air injected into it, so it's nice and stiff, but it's um, heat pliable, like a thermosetting plastic. So you can heat it up, bend it to whatever you want, and it's fairly sturdy. I mean, I can do this, and it doesn't snap in half. And you know, I'm not like... Where do you get that from? Where do you get those kinds? You can get this at a sign shop. Sometimes the quality will be a little bit less. I got this online, but it was $10 extra shipping, so I spent $25 on an 8x10 grid for 10 of those. So it was, It's a little pricey, but... But this stuff is better than the stuff you get at the sign shop, sign shop for the most part. 
Then there's this stuff over here. This is a high uh, impact mat. It's a floor mat that is meant to go like under your treadmill to protect your floor. But yeah, it's waterproof. It's nice and thick. I used it on the bottom of Gravon's feet, which you know, one day, one day you'll get a chance to look at. <laughs> That's what's under there to protect it from the ground. You can usually get these from local areas like the uh, Joann's um, and other fabric and crafts. Hogs, yeah, fabric and crafts, there are, you can get it from Lobby, some Walmart. Uh, I listed a bunch of foam suppliers and stuff on the little sheets I passed out. Um, another great place is upholstery repair. That includes not just couch cushion stuff, but also with automotive and boating. Mm -hmm. Because they all have cushions in them too. It's not like you're sitting on bedroom right now, if you're wondering. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, uh, they can be expensive because they're petroleum based products. Yes. So oh. gas prices go up? Well, so does your phone, unfortunately. Yeah, well, at least the um, polyurethane. Yes. Um, yeah, you can also get the phone online. That's get it shipped true. to you. And there's plenty more options that way as well. And um, the green stuff here, it also comes a lot of times with yellowy kind of color. Green typically means high density, which means that it has. I have a low, oh, I have an a low density. It's white. Um, if you feel it, you can, it's a lot more squishy than the other stuff. It feels a lot more airy. It's yes. not as dense, hence high density. And this is normal. And this is also more expensive when you get high density. It's a lot more rigid, a lot more supportive. So you can use it for various parts of the mask, but you may not need it for every part that needs to be as stable and structured as a high density would. It can save a little bit of money to kind of do a hybrid of both. Um, and average cost per yard. That's why I picked this up. This is a one inch piece here. This um, came usually originally across 24 inches, which is considered a half sheet. That's usually what you find in the store. And then you can get it cut to whatever length per yard. So one yard is three feet, which is about this far. So like this piece of foam here, here. One inch is going to cost you $15 for that entire piece. You half inch, it's not quite half. Uh, the price, it goes up to five or six inches sometimes, you can find, and that gets to $75. There's no reason you would need, for the most part, three, four, five inch foam. A lot of times, one inch is what I suggest to buy because you can double stack it, instantly got two inch foam. So you don't need to make runs to the store constantly. Magic. Magic, guys. Uh, do not try to cut this in half, though, to make a half inch foam. It just won't do you much good. <laughs> yeah, it's not recommended anyhow. You'll probably just unless you have industrial equipment, don't try it at home because it's gonna be <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, some more materials. Um, common costume fabrics. Um, we've got several. Um, Scaros is a good example. He's got, um, I believe that's felt, right, on your fleece or fleece. Uh, fleece up here, and then fur on the wings. Fur and is the same. Lycra. For the membrane. Fur here is called uh, minky. It's a very, very, very short pile fur, which means it has very short fur strands. And Rowan is made out of a very similar material to that. He is made out of something called the lure knit, which also has tiny little fibers. It gives it kind of feel not quite velvet, but it's very plushy, very soft, and it doesn't have as much individual threads that are, that are visible. <coughs> so I thought it'd be great for a more reptilian like costume. Because you wouldn't want to cover ground on something like this. This is a uh, synthetic fur or faux fur. Um, Rihanna has the synthetic fur. It's mm -hmm. black and yellow, <laughs> as you can really tell. They usually have a really, uh, they come in from anything from a few quarters of an inch to three, three inches, inches is easy, inch. about in that range to find. About a two inch is typically what you're going to get, though. So. Um, and then there is a little bit difference sometimes in quality. This right here is a luxurious shag. Very soft, very full. There is um, just, it's just, oh, you gotta feel this, it's great. However, you, I don't know how well you can see what this looks like, but it's very stringy, it's very thin. This is a lower quality fur. It's a lot more stingy and there's it just, really it feels really gritty. It may work great for, um, <laughs> it may great work for hair, sure thing. And um, maybe you have a few <laughs> shaggy. <laughs> 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 Yeah. You can do it. Uh, Breaks, good idea. Yes, take breaks. Um, so if this kind of fur is what you're going for, that's great. It will save you money if you go this route. However, you may not get the best quality product. As she said, it'll pull out and look like you have mange. Yeah. Like a rabbit. 
rabid. I mean, maybe you're trying to be a rabid dog, maybe. but... <laughs> it didn't work for you. Um, fur is going to be found at, again, fabric stores. However, you're going to find more of this stuff typically at a fabric store rather than the really nice stuff. Get it online. I cannot stress that enough. Online is the best. And you get swatches in the mail. But that's what these are. They're swatches. Swatches are another word for samples. But you don't know what the fur color is. You don't know what the fur texture is. You want to be able to see and feel it before you buy 10 yards of it. Yeah, because if you buy 10 yards of like $20 fur, you're out pretty decent chunk of change. And usually they send those out for free. Sometimes free, sometimes only a few cents. Sometimes all the swatches are free. You just pay for shipping. Yeah, I don't think I paid more than $5 for swatches. Wasn't there one where you contacted the website for one swatch and they just sent you the entire color? Yeah, unfortunately the company's gone now. Plush for oh, wow. I asked for yeah. one, I asked for three colors in two, three different kind of fabrics. They sent me all of them. It was the greatest. It was, I had to personally thank them. And I had ordered a lot of fur from them before they went out of business. But companies, they want you to buy their stuff. So, you know. It's good customer relations. <laughs> All that deal. Oh, was there something else that? Just really quick. Just right. Oh, it's working with fur. Go ahead. You can um, it's very thick, um, so it's very rough on your sewing machine. So um, you can. It's better to get an older one since. Usually more metal pieces yeah, inside. Yeah, metal pieces, not plastic, will tend to break. Um, yeah. you Just can, be nice to it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way. Use strong upholstery thread when you're sewing it as well, because. Fur is, again, really thick, and you really need something that's thick enough to build a whole It can also together. get caught um, when the sewing machine is feeding yeah, yeah. the fabric. This, these fibers can get caught in the sewing machine. If you put it down and you try to sew on the top of it, you want to make sure that you always have another piece of fabric underneath that you're sewing it to, or you have some paper or something else that's going to protect it from getting caught inside the gears of the machine. Lots of time unplugging all of that junk, and it's not fun. 